Hello my YouTube fam, I'm Kiana and welcome back to Kiana's Creative Closet. So today's video, you love, uh, my loves, is going to be a lookbook. Um, you guys, I love creating lookbooks. Lookbooks are always going to be in my channel. I know my lookbooks don't do as well as my hauls, but... I started this channel for lookbooks. <laughs> I love to style a good piece, honey. When I get a new piece in, I'm just thinking automatically how I'm going to wear it. So, um, I love styling. I just love styling. I just love how one piece can create a whole outfit. So, yeah, I wanted to do that today. I think I'm going to be doing a lot more um, styling portions here on my channel so if that's what you're here for definitely stay stay tuned for that I will be sprinkling in holes of course but I'm not going to do as many holes this year as I did last um, and I'm going to do a QA. and a again leave me questions leave me questions I'm going to do a QA and a on what you will see on this um, platform this year in 2023 so this lookbook is going to be more of your um, kind of casual looks casual but still chic dressed up um it's not like the extrovert type of outfits um but they're still cute it's something that you can think of real quick pull from your closet throw on when you're going out um especially for those um times when you're going out and it's not like a big celebration a birthday anything like that um you're just going to have drinks or have a nice lunch or dinner with friends or your significant other so if you think that's something you're interested in seeing continue on watching but before we jump into it if you are new here hon and you love fashion like i do subscribe down below turn on that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time i upload a new video i'm telling you you will not be disappointed to my ogs welcome back boo thanks for the continued support and thanks for following me into 2023 all right my loves let's hop into it okay my love so this is the first look and i absolutely love this look so y'all know i picked up this hanifa sweater last year around the spring very early spring or late winter um love her she's in my favorite shade of purple this is the long cardigan and it has the fringes at the bottom it does have a belt this is a very oversized sweater you can wear it belt it you know buckled up i mean you know fastened up or pulled in with the ties i opted to wear it open today you can also the sleeves are very long you can cuff these sleeves and give you that big cuff type of look but I like to wear it long give it more like a hobo chic type of look I paired it with just a brown bodysuit that I picked up from um Zara I got so many of these bodysuits from different places this one is from Zara it's in a chocolate brown color and then I have on these cargo pants that I picked up from Amazon everybody and their mama has these pants but at first, I was kind of on the fence about getting them. I am so glad that I picked up these pants. I have worn these pants a ton since I first got them. And if you have been watching for a while, you know in the video with the haul of these, I was really unsure on if I wanted to keep these pants. But I am so happy that I kept them. And then I just threw it on with these pumps, you guys. These are a Zara pump. I picked these up not too long ago, early fall love them they are a meal let me see you probably can't see let's see it's a meal so it's a not a meal i'm sorry you guys a sling back they are a sling back you guys i love this i love this fit so these cardigans can be worn so many ways i have worn these with distressed jeans um this cardigan with distressed um jeans i have worn this cardigan with a mini skirt i have worn them with cut off denim um yeah so it's a lot of ways to wear this cardigan i'm just upset because i still feel like i have not gotten my money's worth if i like the cardigan so much why am i not wearing it and it's because i have it tucked in the back of my closet i have to pull it out i have to see it i have that's why i have this whole closet system because I have to see my clothes to wear them. So this is the fit. Let me show you the back. This is the back of the cardigan. I love her. I love her. So let's do accessories, honey. Because it's nothing like good accessories. Fall, winter, spring, or summer. So I would do like a oversized aviator glass. I feel like aviators fit my face a little bit more because i have a 
wide face, a very chubby face, so I think the aviators will be cute. Accessories will definitely amp your outfit up. Um, I don't seem to put a lot of accessories in my styling portions, and I need to start doing that because accessories can make or break an outfit. Most of the time, make an outfit if you're wearing the correct accessories. But I always have an accessory on when I go out. I just, you know, in the styling portion, sometimes I forget. I would throw it on with this oversized um, short handle bag. This is also from Zara. I picked this up last year around this time. I decided to go with the brown suit because, you know, I had the purple shoes. I have the purple cardigan. So I wanted to play with kind of the neutral, darker fall winter colors in this outfit. And I think this is perfect. This bag does have the gold chain so if you want to wear it on your shoulder you can but I wear most of my bags as clutches I am a clutch girl give me a clutch or a top handle any day and I'm good <laughs> I'm good but this is the fit tell me what you think So this is the next look. I love this look. It's very casual, but still dress up and give you a sophisticated look. Um, this is my type of style. Um, I love it. I love it. So I have on this top, you guys. This is a bodysuit. Um, knitwear, sweater material that I picked up from Walmart some time ago. Probably early fall. I just, I don't think I ever hold it. I don't hold all, everything that I buy, you guys. So I got this from Walmart. Very cheap. No more than 20 bucks. Um, it's a bodysuit, but it's not a thong bodysuit. It's a full bodysuit. That's something I don't like. Um, and then I paired it with a pair of boot cut um, dark denim. I got these from Fashion Nova. You would have seen me haul these right around the holidays. Um, and then I paired her with this very cute corset type of belt. I picked this belt up from an Instagram seller. She's very big on Instagram and TikTok. Very lovely lady, um, very friendly, um, great customer service. I don't want to butcher her name because I can't think of it right now off the top of my head, but I will leave her information at the bottom of the screen somewhere. Um, she is the queen of DIY. Um, these, she sells these style of belts. This is the soft leather wrap belt, and then she has the structure belts that reminds you so much of Loewe. So um, check her out. I will leave her information in the description box as well as on the screen. Um, this one is just soft leather. You wrap, you pull it tight in at the waist and then you tie it in the back. If your waist is smaller than mine or if you're not plus size, you have a very petite um, waist or a very slender waist, you can tie it, double tie it and bring it to the front, which will cinch it in a little bit tighter than what I have it today. But I love this belt. I love the color. The color is very rich. It does have a crease right here because I haven't had it folded since I got it. Sorry about my phone. Had it folded in the pack since I got it. I probably should have maybe stained this crease out. But love it anyway. Um, then I have on a pair of boots. They're like a cognac um, and dark brown with a little bit of black snakeskin boot that I picked up from Ego Official quite a while ago. And this one is a square toe, but it's not an extreme square toe. Um, chunky heel, block heel, so that's very comfortable to wear. I threw on this blazer over my shoulders. This blazer is from H&M. This is one, kind of reminds you of an hourglass type of blazer because it cinches in at the waist and it's a longer line blazer. I love this blazer. This is my favorite blazer in my neutral colors. So. That is the look. Let me turn for you. And of course, since we're adding accessories, I'm going to go ahead and throw on a pair of shades. So these are the shades I will pick. Now, this is not really uh, my favorite, the square frame glasses, but I think it matches the outfit very, very well. I'm more of an aviator style Um glassware when I'm wearing I, um, shades or cat eye but I'm gonna make it work because it matches so pretty let me see with the outfit I, I can't appreciate that it's oversized because your girl has a big face um and then I'll just throw on my cognac clutch 
like so i think she giving let me take a look in the mirror yes i think she's giving i think she's chic and still casual the boot is very very comfortable if you have issues walking in heels try a very chunky heel this heel is a very chunky block heel so if you have an issue with walking in heels but you want to give it a try you want to kind of um i'm so sorry about that phone you guys you want to look a little bit more dressed up and you you know you're a beginner get a thick block heel so also you don't have to wear i would throw the blazer on over the shoulder you guys because y'all know i'm extra <laughs> but you can put the blazer on so let me show you it on adjust myself a little bit so this is how she looks on I feel like she's giving a look tell me what you think hey Bill I'm in the mood for a switch up I hit the function hit the rose right till I hiccup I hit the stage and leave with money that's a stick up Okay, my love, so this is the next fit, and this is definitely your run errands um, look. On the weekends, you know, early morning, where we have a bunch of things to do that we had, wasn't able to do during the work week. Um, so I like to be comfortable. I like to be extremely comfortable. Those are the days you really see me going for my sneakers. Um, I haven't wearing sneakers in the office here lately, something really new to me. But um, I got the sneakers because I wanted to feel really comfy, but yet still hip, still um, fashion forward when I'm going out. Um, just even if it's just going to the grocery store. If you want to be that fashion girl, you have to be that fashion girl at all times. <laughs> because they will catch you slipping and they'll be like, oh, she, her videos be this, that, and the other, her pictures, but she not giving in real life. So make sure you're ready at all times, my loves. So this is something very comfortable. So of course I have on this crop leather jacket. Y'all seen me hold this last year from Fashion to Figure. It was either from the Chastity Collection or the Gabby Collection. I'm thinking Chastity. I can't remember. Um, it was from one of those collections. It was a collection piece. It was a collection piece. I love it. It is a cropped leather. It fits me at a very nice lift. Um, I love crop levers. If I'm going to go for anything, I prefer the crop to be short. So this is short enough for me. It's just hitting that line. So I love this. It's in a pretty cognac color, kind of orangey, burnt orange cognac color. Very rich. Love it. And then I have on these um, pants. They're kind of reminiscent of loungewear pants. They're so comfortable, so soft. It's in like a polyester blend. I got these from Eloqui, by the way. Um, it has the white stripe down the side which gives it kind of like that adidas feel and it just looks hip it's giving very much this whole outfit kind of street style vibes um y'all know i'm normally not real big on street style but i love a good edgy piece and i'm here for that this year so um also i just paired it with a graphic tee like you can't get any better when you're going for a dress down kind of street vibe type of look so I threw on this graphic tee. I get all of my graphic tees from Walmart. This is as well as from Walmart. I just cropped it. I didn't cut it or anything. I tucked it under, twisted it in the back, and stuck it under my bra. And then, of course, I have on my dunks. Y'all seen me um, hold these dunks a while back, and I am loving them. I love them. Y'all should have seen my last video. My husband just brought me a pair of denim dunks. Obsessed. So, um, to keep with the accessories, I feel like I wear more shades in the fall than I actually wear in the summer. I don't know why. I just feel like sometimes you just need that extra accessory in the fall and winter. I'm sorry, fall and winter. You need that extra accessory because you're not really seeing outfits. You're seeing clothes. So, make in the wintertime, you definitely want to make your accessories everything they have to be everything that goes from a coat have you a good coat honey i'm doing a coat haul i'm in a coat i'm styling portions coming up soon so don't miss out have you a bomb coat have you a nice pair of shades have you a nice bag and a shoe honey give them a little bit of a shoe i'm telling you so i'm i'm wearing my glasses when i tell you i never wear glasses in the summer um so i i opted for 
a plain um, dark shade this time. Um, if it is a little bit cloudy out, you definitely don't want to go for a dark shade. You can go for like an iridescent, clear type like frame. But I went for the dark today, honey, to make the outfit pop. And I just did my regular bag. This is the bag you always see me with when I'm doing a dress down moment. So I would wear her. I do have a crossbody, but I don't know where it is. Um, so we're going to do her today. So tell me what you think. I think it's cute. It's a very cute dress down. I'm going to wear urns. I'm going to have a drink at the bar afterwards with my girlfriend. So I like her. Let me turn for you. And this is the look. Okay, y'all. So this is the next look. Um, this is something else to run it errands, going to get drinks with your girlfriend, a quick lunch, early dinner, going to your friend's house to kick it, play some games. This is such a casual outfit, very comfy. Um, I don't know, I've just been feeling the tomboy style or kind of street style look here lately. And this is giving me a little mix of both. It's definitely giving me tom girl, um, tomboy vibe. Um, and then it's also giving me a little bit, I don't feel like it's edgy enough for street style. But in a sense, I do feel like ugh, it's Hitting it a little bit because, you know, denim on denim is definitely a trend this fall, winter season, and definitely is going to be going into spring and summer. So, let's talk about the pieces. Of course, you know, I wore this in another styling portion. This is like a cape style jean vest. Well, not really vest because it has sleeves, but it's almost like poncho cape style denim um, layering piece. And I got this from the thrift store, you guys. I got this from the thrift store. It is by the brand Ashley Stewart. So I was a little surprised, but I love it. Love the arms on this. Um, then I just have on a pair of distressed boyfriend jeans. Got these from Fashion Nova last year. These are the most comfortable jeans I have in my wardrobe. I wear these over and over to where I should have got a, a double and a triple pair for backup. Um, and then, of course, I have on my ducks. Y'all know these are new. My husband just got these for me for Christmas. Love, love, love them. They are the denim ducks. And then I just threw on this blue turtleneck as a layering piece. Um, this, um, well, you know, your basics, and then you layer over. This blue turtleneck is reminiscent of a denim. It's like a pale blue. It almost looks denim. So that's why I decided on this. I got this from H&M. It's, um... They're basic pieces. They come out with these turtlenecks every year. And then I threw on this denim bustier or um, crop top type of situation. This is from, yeah, I don't know what this is from. I want to say Fashion Nova, but don't quote me. No, this is actually from H&M. I got this um, bralette type um, situation from H&M a couple of summers ago. And it's just giving a whole denim on denim vibe. This may not be everybody's cup of tea. Again, it is very trendy, but it's still giving you your Canadian tuxedo. So I really don't feel like it's that trendy. Denim on denim has been popular for a very long time. Um, but, you know, that's the thing here this year is just head to toe denim. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it because I love denim. Um, this is the back of the piece. The only thing I hate about this cape is these ties here because I would like it to flow a little bit more oversized. Um, but I need to get a seam ripper because I was trying to do it with the scissors, cut the the tab in the back, but it looked like it was going to get a hold in it. So I just, a hold. So I just stop and go get a seam ripper and see what I can do with that. So of course we're going to do these up just like we did the other items and add our accessories, which is our glasses. I have on the same jewelry. And all of the clips, uh, let's see. And that would be my gold K necklace for Kiana. This is a Michael Kors watch and then just go earrings. That's the only thing. I'm not big on jewelry. But these are the glasses. If you can see, they have 
like a blue tint to them very iridescent so even on a foggy day i'll be fine with these i will break it up i was going to do my denim crossbody bag as a clutch or even a crossbody but for some reason i want to break it up a little bit so i'm going to do this white bag and i'm going to do her crossbody because again it is a very casual look and we're running earned so you want to be hand swirling let me see how that looks yeah this is pretty cool but if i really um had a, a big white kind of like tote bag i would be i would love that just a big kind of like um your um what is that called Lua, uh, no is it louis bag bottega the big bottega cross weave bag one of those big ones will be really really cute just a big bag will be really cute or even a, like the slouchy city bag balenciaga city bag will be cute but i don't have this is the only white purse besides my gucci cross body that i had so this is her tell me what you think oh here you are face to face in this trashy bar another glass and i am going places makes me So this is the next look. I had to throw a little bonus in here. <laughs> I had to do a little bonus. Now this is not casual. <laughs> this is a little bit extra, but it's not overly dressed. You know what I mean? I don't feel like it's overly dressed, but just with the gloves, honey, it's giving it a little extra bird. It's <laughs> a little extra. But I had to throw this in here because this has been on my rack for the longest. On my rack for the longest, you guys. So I just wanted to go ahead and get the look out show you you guys because i think this is absolutely adorable i love this outfit it's definitely giving you rich auntie it's giving you what i say what i always say i got money honey that's the look that this is giving you so i just have on a poncho this is a traditional style cape poncho i picked this up from the thrift store um maybe a few years ago and i never worn it i always take it out for the fall and say okay i need to get some wear out of it but i have never worn it um so thrift store and then i have on this bodycon dress it's just a long line maxi bodycon dress you can wear it on the shoulders off the shoulders you can't see it today because the poncho is on um i prefer to wear it off the shoulders this dress had everybody in awe last year when i hold it i still love it Unfortunately, I haven't worn this out the house either. That's why I pulled these items out because I'm actually going out tonight. I'm going to wear this. Um, and then I have on these leather gloves. You've seen them, um, I think, in a holiday lookbook. These are from Eloquy. These are not um, genuine leather. They are faux leather. Um, these are last year's, but they do have them. They came back out with them this year. If you are looking for genuine leather, you have to try Target. I'm not sure if they still, if they restock from that collection they had or Zara. But most people prefer vegan leather anyway, so I'm okay with that. I just threw my watch, my Michael Kors watch, over top of the gloves. I just think it gave it more of a, yeah, I'm rich, bitch, <laughs> type of look. So, um, yeah, I paired it with a pair of black knee-high boots. Well, these are not knee-high boots. They're kind of calf length boots they are from nine west i would definitely let's see since we giving rich auntie vibes you know we need a shade honey we need a dark shade <laughs> we need a dark shade i love this outfit let me take a look i'm sweating y'all it's hot in here but yeah you see you see <laughs> and then i would um I wouldn't keep a dark bag. I would throw on something a little bit more taupe, camel with this because we have so many dark colors with the rich tone of the brown and the black. And I just feel like the light camel bag just makes the outfit pop. And then it's a little camel in the poncho. Let me see. Yes, honey. Yes. I love this. I love 
this look. And I'm wearing her to dinner tonight. I am. I'm wearing her to dinner tonight. Of course, I'll take the poncho. I'm not going to sit at the dinner table with a poncho on. But the dress is cute on its own. So, I love her. Tell me what you think. This is the bag. I love how it has the belt. So, it's still giving you that shape. I love this look, you guys. Tell me what you think about this one. I feel like this is my favorite of the whole haul. I love me a good poncho. I like the cake styles. I like the ones you just throw over. I love a good poncho. Old school, honey. All right, tell me what you think about this. Okay, so that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the looks that I put together for you. Um, again, these are more casual looks for me. Um, I can be a little extra at times, but most of the time, I'm, I'm just a casual um, type of girl. I always love, love to look like I put effort into my outfit and look chic, clean cuts, clean dabs. But I like to be comfortable, honey. And I um, have been loving sneakers. Y'all have seen that because you got two looks with sneakers. So tell me which outfits you like the best. Tell me which you be, will you be recreating some of these outfits. Remember, these styling Porsches are for inspirational purposes. Shop your closet, ladies. Shop your closet. Do not spend the bag in 2023. We have all have pieces in the closet that we can throw together a good outfit. So, all right, my love. See you in the next one. But don't forget to subscribe. Show your girl some love. All right. Bye-bye.